Hello everyone, my name is Isaac Segunro and welcome to this video. In this video, I am going to be doing a continuation from our last video. In our last video, I showed you a page that you're looking at right now, this page you're looking at right now. And this page is created using the Vue.js JavaScript framework. As I explained in my last video, it's comparable to AngularJS or ReactJS and Ember and some of the other frameworks out there. So this Vue.js framework, it basically just reads from a list. Here's our list. So it reads this data from a list and it just renders it to a page, to this page here. And then I'm able to add this drop down, which based on your selection, it'll filter the region column. As you can see, all Northern, if I go to Western, and as you can see, it's also fast. And then this search site, it'll search this site column dynamically. So if I go LLP, or if I type in CORP, as you can see, it, it filters. I also have this edit link here. And when I click on edit, it'll take you to a page, a form to edit just that specific form, the corresponding um, form to what you to what I clicked on. So that's what I'm going to be showing you here today. Now let's go take a look at our code first. Here's the code from the last time. That's the HTML code. And let me bring up the JavaScript code. Let me close this page. Well, this page here, this is what this is how far we got the last time. And as you can see, this the drop down doesn't work. It's it's no functionality. But I'm gonna save this one for last. What I'm gonna be showing you today is that as I mentioned is just to link this up to the appropriate form using Vue.js. And let's go to open you tab. Just wanna bring up the so I got that. All right, and here is our Vue.js form. And if you remember, we created an instance and um, we have our our methods. And then we have our lifecycle hooks created. And this is where we call our, our get list data. And that's how we're able to get what we what we see so far. Now, in order for us to make this edit word here linkable, we have to first get the link from the list. So let's go to our list. So I'm going to click on, open that in a new tab. And all you have to do is just click on any item because pretty much the links, the edit form for each one, the URL will be the same. The only difference is the ID. So if I come here and I click edit, I don't want this, so I'm going to go copy, copy, I'm going to paste it in here to get the full form. So paste and go. And here is the form that I want. Let me click edit all. There you go. Here's what I need right here. And as you can see in the URL, it has this edit form that ASPX question mark ID equal to 23 and then the source and this source when you click save it'll take you to that source let me grab the link first before i click save so you can see what i what i mean so i'm gonna that equal sign all the way back and i'm gonna copy so if i come here and i say save it takes you back to this page but really i don't want it to go back to this page this shouldn't be my source when they click save in my form, I want it to go back to my list, this page. And I want to show you how to do that as well. So let me click the back button. So now that I have grabbed the URL, let me bring up my form. My J, my, my Vue.js form. And I am going to create, oops, let me um, edit. Okay. So what I want to do, I'm going to call this URL paste. 
and that's what I want. I want to paste that. I'm going to show you how to dynamically add the actual, how I'm going to grab the ID in a second. And then the other thing that I want is, I want to say URL end, or I could have called it source, but I just call it end. And I want to do ampersand, and let me go back to the form, to that link. Where is it at? Da, 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 da. And so I want this source here. So I'm going to grab this source. Copy. And I'm going to, let me, I have too many pages open. So I'm going to come here. Oh, let me close that down. Oh, there it is. So I want to paste that in there. But I don't want all of this. This is not the source that I want. So I want to grab, I want to go to my list and I want to click on this. This is the source that I want. So when they click save on that edit form, I wanted to come to this page instead of taking me to the previous page. So let me come to my, let me close these pages down. Let me leave that open. Close this down. Here we are. So I'm going to go to my source all the way up to this ampersand because I have the content ID. So I might need that. So I'm just going to paste that in there. And matter of fact, I really don't really need this. So I'm going to take that out. But you can leave it in. It, it, it'll do no harm. So I'm going to take that out. That's what I have. So let me save this. And now I'm going to go back to my, I'm going to go to my HTML page to show you how to, how to use this. So when I come to my HTML page, Now, this is tricky. Um, at first, you may be tempted to do something like this, A and then href, and then, um, oops, href is equal to, and then you paste all that stuff in here. But if you do it this way, it's not gonna work. If you doesn't work that way. So what you wanna do is you wanna say, is something called vbind and what it does it, it binds the um, href and it makes the link so you go v oops v dash dash bind oops bind colon so that's what the vbind does um, so the vbind is basically you have that href, which is the argument, and all it does is just tells the vbind directive to bind the element's href attribute to the value of the expression. So it binds it to the expression that I'm going to give it, and the expression that I'm going to that I'm going to give it is URL and URL end. Um, so let me show you how to do that. So. So I come here and I'm going to say href equal to so URL plus item dot ID. So as you can see, I'm saying this URL ID equal. So ID equals, so I need it. I need an ID. So I'm grabbing as it's looping through this through this array. Remember from my last video, it's looping through the array, and among the items in that array is an ID. So I'm going to say because it's an array of objects. So item dot ID, and then I need to concatenate again. URL end, and that's this here. So now now I'm concatenated to this. So let me go back. So URL end. Then I need to close it. Close that just like that. And then edit. And then I need to put a close my um my A tag. So this should work. So let's see how this works. So let me save. 
and let's go here and refresh the page oh so I have it I'm getting an error so let me do f12 cascade is not defined so let me go back cascade okay let me remove this this is what I want to show you in my next video so let me remove that is how to get that functionality working so it's complaining because it doesn't see the cascade method so let me save let's go back refresh okay so as you can see let's see if this works so if I click on Eastern let's edit and there it is now let's see what happens when I save. It should take me back to the list. There you go. So let me go to another one. Let's go to Western. And there it is, Western. As you can see, the IDs are changing as well. So this ID is equal to 18. Let me go back. Let me go to a Northern, or let me go to a Southern one. Southern, look at the ID, ID 58. So it works. So let's go back to the code. So just to recap, I created a property in my data object, two properties, URL and URL end. And I basically grabbed the URL of the edit form and I included the ID equal because I'm going to dynamically insert the ID um, in my HTML portion. And then I have the URL end and I'm going to just concatenate all these. So if I in my HTML portion, I have I'm still looping through like we learned from my last video. And then V bind. And remember the href, this href here, um, is the argument which tells the V bind to bind the elements href to the expression so it binds it to all of these here url concatenate item that id and this is how i can and this is how i grab dynamically all the ids of each of the items that are being rendered through the page as i'm looping through this for loop um, and then it concatenates the end uh, which includes the source of how to get back to this page once once save is selected so I mean it's clicked so click save and it takes you back so I hope this video made sense I hope you enjoyed it um, leave your comments if you have any questions and I can come back to you stay tuned for my next video which I am going to show you how to create this functionality where it filters um, the list and it also make appear dynamically the the text box to let you filter further the site column. So stay tuned because in the next video we're going to be going over some new directives and and how to and and how to use it. Thank you.